Hey Stitches, I'm Sam Cole and in today's video we are going to figure out and expose myself on how many books I have on my physical TBR. This video is going to be a little bit different because my partner reads as well and so our library is not just books that I would read. There are a lot of books that I wouldn't have purchased for myself and so I don't think it's really fair to call it my physical TBR. We will discuss and go over all the books regardless of if I bought them or not but yeah. I thought this would be fun, kind of expose myself. I think I have a larger physical TBR than I think. I want to be like nice to myself and say 50 books on my physical TBR that I have not read. But yeah, we'll see. So let's get started. So first up we have this beautiful vintage Stephen King shelf, that's my partner's collection. Um, he's a really big Stephen King fan and really just like anything spooky horror related especially when it comes to fiction. So for one year for his birthday I gave him like several copies of like vintage copies of Stephen King in order to kickstart his collection. So obviously this shelf is part of his collection. Um, we have Thinner, Salem's Lot, Firestarter, Christine, Carrie, Cujo, The Dead Zone. This like really cool six part like series I guess of The Green Mile because they published it in six different parts which I thought was cool. Copy of It, Misery, and my and his favorite Pet Cemetery. And then The Stand, Gerald's Game, and Dolores Claiborne. I absolutely love this shelf and obviously he does too. Um, I've only read I think just Pet Cemetery by Stephen King but I am hoping to change that by the end of this year and if not definitely next year. Okay so next up we have his just like more modern uh, Stephen King collection. We have The Institute, Fairy Tale, 11, 22, 63, Under the Dome, Skeleton Crew, It, The Stand, Colorado Kid, which is one of his like, like thriller crime novels. We have Elevation, Gunslinger, his memoir of the craft on writing, Harry, Misery, Pet Cemetery, Dr. Sleep, The Shining, The Outsider, and Mr. Mercedes. Um, like I said before, I probably wouldn't have purchased any of these just on my own. But I do have a bit of a uh, interest in reading some, but I'm not gonna include anything on either of these shelves for my physical TBR. Okay, next up we have our kind of like thriller horror section and this is where it gets a little bit more mixed of both his and my books. First up we have the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. I love this cover which was like a main reason why I wanted to get it and I heard such amazing things about it but I don't know if I just wasn't in the right headspace for it when I tried to read it or what but I ended up DNFing it so we will include that as a physical TBR for me because I do intend to go back. Then we have Tender is the Flesh. I absolutely loved this like short little book. Um, it was very disturbing. Check trigger warnings but highly recommend. Um, I think Tucker is currently reading A God in the Shed um, and he... I'm not sure if he's going to continue reading it. He mentioned something about not loving the writing so we'll see. The Devil in the Dark Water is one of his. He really loved this book and is trying to convince me to read it, but I still haven't. The Devil All the Time, I bought this after seeing the Netflix movie, and so I did definitely want to read that, um, but haven't gone around to it. Riley Sager is kind of both of ours. I haven't read either of these, but I did read um, The House Across the Lake, which I honestly don't even know where that copy is, but yeah but I have not read either of these. This one's Tucker's, Tucker's, all of these. I did read The Woman in the Window. I thought it was very good. I read You and Hidden Bodies, Tucker's, Tucker's. I read The Silent Patient, and then both of these are Tucker's. So on this shelf, we have one, two, three, four, four books on my physical TBR. Okay, here we are on the next shelf down on the floor. Um, and this was kind of just like in catch-all shelf a little bit. We have some of our book of the month books and then just some of our general or literary fiction, a little bit of historical fiction, just like hardback covers. Most of these I think are Tucker's. This Leave the World Behind is one of mine that I have not read. Cloud Cuckoo Land, Cuckoo Land I've wanted to read. I read um, 
all the light we cannot see and really loved it and then found this really beautiful cover but I just have not gotten around to reading it yet. The rest of these hardcovers are Tuckers and then The Maidens I have not read, not read, not read, not read. I did read The Lost Apothecary and I really enjoyed it. Did not read Once There Were Wolves, have not read this. Have read Circe and also really enjoyed it and have not yet read Ariadne. We had four on the other shelf so that makes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen books on my physical TBR so far. Let's start in the next shelves which are mostly my books. Moving on to this next shelf like I said are mostly my books and on this top we have kind of have like a cute like romance rom-com section. Um, I read all of Emily Henry's books in a, a reading vlog on my channel. I read The Hating Game. Yes, funny you should ask. When in Rome, just makes perfect but then I haven't read the rest on this shelf. I did purchase the whole Magnolia Park series with the full intention of reading it but I got so caught up in like spooky season and all of that and haven't gotten around to it so I definitely still want to read that but I just haven't yet. So on this we have what did we have 13? Okay, I just checked back and we had 13 books and so now we need to add 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 21 books. We have this like sci-fi fantasy shelf. A lot of these are both of ours. Um, I'm pretty sure all of these books are ones that I want to read eventually, but let's see. I have not read House from the Cerulean Sea. I have not read God Killer. Poppy War, Red Rising. I did read Ready Player One. I have not read Dune. Honestly, don't know if I'll ever get to it. I think we bought it for Tucker, but we can add it to mine just because I might read it. And then I did read this first collection of short stories, The Last Witch, The Last Wish of the Witcher uh, series, but I did not get further than that. Haven't read the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy, Legends and Lattes, The Book Eaters, If We Were Villains, Miss Born, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, The Near Witch, and I did read A Darker Shade of Magic, but then I have not read This Blood That Binds Us, Masters of Death, or The Sword Catcher. This, honestly, I just moved a lot of my, um, like, recently purchased books over to this shelf, so a lot of these I have not read. Okay, I keep losing count, so I went back. We're at 21 books on my physical TBR, and we're about to add a lot more. 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I think we're gonna get probably past my guess of 50 but let, let's see let's see maybe maybe we won't. Now we're starting on our classic section. Um, Tucker was an English major so a lot of these are his but I also read a decent amount of them so we'll just kind of go through them and then we'll go back and be like okay this is mine this is his and whether or not I've read it or not. So first up we have Ghosts Out of Watchmen, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Grapes of Wrath, East of Eden, Fahrenheit 451, Native Guard, To Kill a Mockingbird, The Lottery, Lodor, Death on the Nile, The Great Gatsby, Interpreter of Maladies, Amit, and then there were none, As I Lay Dying, The Alchemist, The Nickel Boys, The Underground Railroad, The Blind Assassin, Alias Grace, and all of my various copies of The Handmaid's Tale and The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. Most of these are Tucker's. I would say I have read I haven't read any of these. I read Fahrenheit 451, Kill a Mockingbird, The Lottery. I have not read Lodore, which I definitely want to. Um, what else? I have read Great Gatsby. And then I have read, obviously, The Handmaid's Tale series, but I haven't read The Blind Assassin or Alias Grace, but I do intend to. So we ended on 40, and now we have 41, 42, 43. That shelf wasn't so bad. Almost done with these bookshelves. Um, now we have kind of just some leftover um, classics, modern retellings section. So I have not gotten to Electra. I did read Lore and really liked it actually. Um, I've This Medusa's Daughters is like a collection of short stories, magic and monstrosity from women writers. So I've read some of that, but I haven't read all of it. So we'll call that as 
part of the physical. Um, I haven't read either of these, but I've heard such good things, so I really want to get to them, and they're not very long, so that could be fun to, like, kind of throw in. I did read Song of Achilles. I have not read The Wolf Den. I have read Jane Eyre and love it. I have not read Northanger Abbey. I have read Pride and Prejudice. I have read The Haunting of Hill House. I have read Of Mice and Men and Dubious Battle. I have not read, but I think that one was Tucker's. 1984 I've read and then I have not read um, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. This was Tucker's book but I was really really interested in it so I definitely want to read this at some point. Um, and then a lot of these are just like kind of fun uh, additions. We have The Raven and Other Poems, uh, Classic Horror Tales, this like cool like a Star Wars story in the style of Shakespeare like a play so that I thought that was really cool. Wuthering Heights, Indiana Jones, Frankenstein, and a big collection of Eds. F. Scott Fitzgerald. So I would say most of these other than like we can include Wuthering Heights are books that we don't intend on like reading. They're more like coffee table books um, but we will include some of these, so let's go through. So I think we're at 43. I think that's right. 4, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, and then this last down shelf down here is kind of at an odd angle, so I'm just gonna hold you, so. You good, bro? You good? <laughs> okay, this last shelf is kind of an odd angle, so I'm going to a lot of these books are just like general fiction or like other miscellaneous books that didn't fit on the other shelves. Um, honestly, a lot of these are books that if they are mine, I probably just need to unhaul. I probably won't read most of them, but we can still go through them and talk about them. I will just give you a simple yes or no if I've read it, um, if it's mine, and then I'll just skip it if it's not. No, yes, no, 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 yes. We were at 50, so 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 55. Okay, and then over here we have like my favorites. So obviously I've read uh, all, almost all of these, but we can double check just to make sure. Um, we have Othello and Hamlet, which I've read. And then we have all of these plays um, that I read for school. I was a theater major, so I did read all those. Here's probably the orange tree that I absolutely loved and this little canvas that I painted um, right after reading it because I just loved it so much. All of those I've read and don't need to be added to the list. Okay and then over here I have my little gothic lit um, section. Um, again I have read most of these but um, I'll just say a simple yes or no. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we have read all of these except Wuthering Heights, so we will add that to our list. Last but not least, we're on my favorite slash fantasy section. Um, I think most of these I've read, but some of them on the bottom I haven't, so we can go through them. We have the whole Sarah J Mass universe, which I have now read after finishing the Front of Glass series. I have read the whole Stephanie Garber Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. I have a reading vlog for that as well. Yes to Fourth Wing, yes to Iron Flame, yes to A River Enchanted and A Fire Endless. And I have read A Darker Shade of Magic, but I have not read the other two yet. So those are two more to add. And I have read Powerless and absolutely loved it. I have this bottom shelf of just some miscellaneous fantasy. Most of these I've started but haven't finished. So I actually don't think I've ever completed any of the Lord of the Rings series, which is just tragic and honestly like... I feel like a fake Lord of the Rings fan, so I definitely need to remedy that next year. Um, I have read the Scythe trilogy. I read Game of Thrones, but I did not continue the series from there, so that makes this one. And then I have not read Ninth House, but honestly, from what I've heard lately, I might not read it. It just seems like maybe not a good fit for me. And then we have the Mortal Instruments series, which I do think... When I was younger, I ended up reading all of these. Okay, I don't think I ever 
I think I read all of these actually, This or, these original six books when I was younger. Um, so we're not going to count those, but I did really love it and I did want to reread it and that's why I got these like really cool copies with the matching spines. Let me know if you want me to do a reading vlog of those. I have been wanting to get back into it. Okay, so we were at 55 um, and then 56 for Wuthering Heights and then, or no, we included Wuthering Heights from over there. So 55, and then 56, 57, The Lord of the Rings trilogy plus The Hobbit. So we were at 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, The Second Game of Thrones, 63, Ninth House, though. I'm not sure I'll ever read that. Um, yeah, and so now we just have my immediate TBR that we need to go over. Last but not least, we have my little TBR section. I think this area has become like my new favorite um, with the twinkle lights and I finally hung up the shelf in our little Charlie Brown tree. But I have read A Houseless Guide in Breath, but I want to do a reread. And then I haven't read any of these other books. So we need to add one, two, three, four, five, six. So what were we at? 63. So what's that? 69? <laughs> Six, sorry sorry 69 books on my physical t tbr yikes okay well it was a little worse than i expected but it wasn't terrible so i'm calling that a win you know i'm calling that a win but thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video let me know if there's anything on my physical tbr that you think i should get to like as soon as possible thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe all that fun youtube stuff and put on those notifications we are doing a new post every single day of december leading up to christmas for bookmas and yeah i'll hopefully catch you in the next one love ya bye